Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Yacht Addiction YouTube channel. The super yacht in front of us is named XOXO. She's a 111 foot Broward super yacht, first delivered in 1997. She has had a recent refit in 2022. Now this yacht has an aluminum hull and aluminum superstructure. This yacht would make a great Bahamas boat or a family cruiser. You have four different staterooms, sleeping up to 10 guests. You have a big country kitchen and it's listed for sale by Worth Avenue Yachts. Now we're starting off of the yacht and right back here, I wanted to give you a little shot of this. This is a great example of what the extra toys that you can have on board, just how much extra space that you can get from some of these inflatables. Obviously, when you're owning a yacht, you wanna be able to get out there on the water and enjoy it. And inflatables like this definitely extend the functionality and the reach of your enjoyment in the water. So we're gonna step around and head on board. So we're boarding from the side here, and this is the aft deck. Right away, you'll see the TV up on the wall, and then you have a fridge and a sink back here for the bar. You have your dining area where everyone can sit down and enjoy an alfresco meal. And I like this bimini top that extends out the back of the yacht, so you have some extra protection from the sun. And then we'll check this out more in detail later, but you do have this fantastic cockpit area back here. So whether you're fishing, just hanging out on the back of the yacht, whatever you want to do back here, it's a great space to enjoy. These stairs will lead us up to the flybridge or upper deck. And this is a raised pilot house design. But let's step into the main salon. And as you'll see, this yacht has been beautifully updated over the years. You have your sofa over here. Really large windows that just flank on either side. So you have lots of natural light, even with the blinds down. Here you can see what they look like open. You have another bar area back here with the fridge, sink, and plenty of storage. And then here, since it's out, let me show you. You can see some of the refit work and upgrades that have been done. So if you want to read that in more detail, you can pause it there. And like I said, even though this is the 97, with the aluminum hull, she has so many years left on her life. You have your formal dining area. And we're gonna continue forward before we get to the guest cabins. You'll see a side access door right here. Here's the day head. And then if we continue forward to our left, you'll see this is the raised pilot house. So we'll get into that in a minute or a few minutes rather. But check out this country kitchen it's a huge space. You have the beautiful, I think this is a quartz countertop with the waterfall edge. So it comes all the way down. Let me step in here fully. And you'll see this is set up as another dining area. You have all of the storage in here for provisions, a TV up in the corner. And if I slowly pan over, you'll see the rest of the galley with the huge fridge and freezer. You have your oven and cooktop, microwave, the double sink, and your dishwasher, and an extra fridge. So like I said, you can see how they've definitely put in some thought into keeping this updated. And you don't need a huge crew to run this vessel. This yacht actually houses up to four crew in two different cabins. And if we step down here, this is the VIP cabin. And I think it's such a cool design. You come down here and you see the elevated queen bed or double bed right here. And there are a few different variations of the steps. You have to be careful. But then over here, you have all of this built-in storage at the desk. 
you have your ensuite right over here. And this will be the closet. And it lights up automatically. Just took a second. So you have to let me know what you think of this VIP cabin in the comments down below. I think it's a pretty cool design. There is a skylight overhead if you want the extra natural light. And I also like the LED lights that they put in underneath each step. Now we're going to head down to the other two guest cabins and the owner's cabin. Back in the dining room. And we'll come down this direction. Excuse me. And if we start over here, you'll see two beds in two different configurations. So you have a double bed over here and then the single. You have the built-in drawers, a closet, and the ensuite. Next up, before we get to the owners, we have another cabin set up in a very similar way. So you have the single bed over here and the double over here. So you could sleep up to three if you wanted to, or just the two. And these are basically mirrored. So you have another closet over here. And then the sink, toilet, and the shower. So we've saved it for last, but now we're going to head back, excuse me, forward to the owner's cabin. You have tons of storage right here. Your separate washer and dryer. And here we go, here is the owner's cabin. This is the full beam of the boat. And there are windows in here, but they're currently just covered by the blinds, so don't worry, you're not gonna feel claustrophobic in here. You have the TV up on the wall. Then I believe you have closets on each side. And these are pretty good sized walk-in closets. The lights take a second, but they do turn on. We haven't had any failures yet. And guys, when you take a look at this listing, you'll see you're honestly getting a ton of money. Excuse me, I always say that. You're getting a ton of yacht for the money. So whenever you're considering an older yacht that's been refit, obviously you have to do a very extensive survey to make sure you know exactly what you're getting. But I love looking at a recently refitted yacht especially an older one, because you'll see in this restroom, it's still very modern, especially with all the refit work done. I'll be out of your way in one second. And then if you come on the other side, you have another sink and toilet, and you can walk all the way through this shower. I almost didn't even realize it at first because of the direct mirror on the other side. But yes, definitely impressed with how they updated this ensuite. And I'm sure you are too. Do you want to eat first or go to the boat first? Excuse me. Let's go. This other boat? We'll go. It's getting a little busy inside, so we're going to head up to this flybridge from the aft deck. And you'll see back here, you have two different sea dews stored up here with your crane. And then they do have a jacuzzi in this section. Opposite of that, you have your grill. And 
And then if you look, you have a partial hardtop. So over here you have storage, another table, and obviously you have seating and sun pads everywhere you look, as well as a catering area right in the middle where you have another fridge and your sink. And then you do have wing stations on each side as well as the second home station. Overall, this is a really big, really spacious flybridge. And I definitely think I would be spending a ton of time up here. And now I know we're sort of working backwards, but let's open this up and then head into the raised pilot house. So the raised pilot house is through this door. And let's head on down. We'll close the door behind us to keep all the AC in. But here you'll see the little seating area, your table, a desk for the captain, and then all of the controls in the pilot house. Now, I think we just need to head back out into that cockpit as well as the crew area and the engines, so. We're gonna tilt our camera down. Try to avoid getting anyone on camera there. But if we head down in this direction, you'll see we're back down in the cockpit. Like I pointed out before, you have all your inflatables back here right off of the fixed swim platform. And then we're gonna head into this door. And I like how it's a really easy door to open and close. And you can tell even down here, it's been renovated over the years because this is definitely a newer floor. You have one of the crew cabins right here with their little ensuite. And of course the other is on the opposite side and it's another bunk room. So like I said, up to four crew. You have a washer and dryer right here. And then here's where we'll find the engine room. So you do have full standing headroom in here. It's not cramped whatsoever. And actually really like how they set up this display. Once again, if you want to read all of these, you can pause it. But this out comes with a pair of cat engines. These are 3412 engines. They're 1350 horsepower each. You have a top speed of 21 knots. You can cruise at 17. And if you drop it down to say 13, maybe 14 knots, you have an impressive range of 3,000 nautical miles. So probably a lot more than you were thinking when you first saw this yacht. It's a very capable vessel, and I think it's gonna make the new owners extremely happy. All right, so we close it up behind us, but this is a really quiet place, so I think It'll be a good place to finish the video. Let me turn you around to look at me. So thank you so much for watching this yacht tour. Thank you to Worth Avenue Yachts as well for granting me access on board. I'm gonna link this listing in the description. You have to let me know what you think in the comment section down below and we will catch you next time.